Hey everyone, welcome to another video. If you've seen my last two, you'll know that I've spent the week here at the Moritoglu Tennis Academy. And if you follow the Tennis Brothers, you'll also know that Felix was here with me. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what it's like to be an elite player at the Moritoglu Academy for a day. Let's check it out. As I mentioned in my vlog, the academy was buzzing with activity. There were adult camps going on and junior camps. But as I was there with Felix, I was spending most of my time around what the pros were doing at the academy, which was really, really interesting. So that's what I'm going to be talking with you about today. First of all, there were two areas that you could eat at the academy. One was at the hotel and the other was in the player's canteen. As Felix and I were staying in the hotel, we were fortunate enough to have the hotel breakfast. There was a buffet of lots of healthy options as well as some unhealthy options too. The academy players that are there full time at the academy would use the canteen, which again was a buffet but with slightly less options. This was where Felix and I would eat our lunch and our dinners. For the elite and pro players at the academy, their day was generally broken down into three main sessions. Two of those sessions would be tennis and one of those sessions would be strength and conditioning. This may change depending on what phase the player is working towards. It might be that they're doing less tennis and more strength and conditioning if they're looking to build up strength during the off season. With that being said, Felix's first tennis sessions were generally in the morning and he would go to the gym before that for about 30 minutes to warm up. Now, there were two gyms at the academy. The first gym, which you can see here, was called the Country Club. And this was for all of the people that were staying in the hotel. It was generally a load of cardio machines and resistance machines. You'll see the strength and conditioning specific gym later in this video. Generally, Felix's 30 minute warm up would consist of five to 10 minutes of cardio, normally on the bike, followed by lots of tennis specific mobility exercises, often with resistance bands or body weight. After the warm up, we would head to the tennis court. Now, for most of the week, we were actually training indoors as the weather was pretty up and down. However, the players that are training at the academy would generally train on the courts that they're gonna be playing their next tournament on. So if they had a clay court tournament coming up, they would be training on the clay courts the players' schedules would actually be sent out to everybody the night before. So when Felix got his schedule, we could see what was going on on all of the other courts. The on-court sessions for the elite players tended to be from 90 minutes to two hours long. These would generally be either one-to-one -one with one player and one coach, or one coach to two players. Sometimes there may even be two coaches and two players on the court. During the majority of the sessions that I saw, either with Felix or other sessions that I witnessed, tended to be very much based around live ball drills. So there weren't too many closed basket drills. Generally, either the coach was playing with the player or there will be a player hitting with a hitter and the coach at their end. When you get to this level, there's not an awful lot of technical work to be done. There might be a few tweaks here or there, which would be done with your one-to-one -one coach, but generally this was about quality ball striking and doing the basics well. Doing this in a situation where you're hitting with somebody of a similar level that hits the ball at a similar pace to you is the best way of developing those match play skills. Because Felix was only at the academy this time for one week, at the start of each session, Felix and I had a chat with the coach about what we would like him to work on. The coach would then set up the drills and I would be down at Felix's end, giving him some specific feedback, but without interfering with the coach's drills. This was interesting as normally when I'm on court with Felix, I would be the one setting up the drills and giving him feedback, but it was quite nice to have the coach to set up the drills at one end so that I could be focused purely on giving Felix feedback. After the first on-court session of the day, Felix would generally have his strength and conditioning session. During this week, it was always with coach Fabian. Again, these sessions were normally 90 minutes long and Fabian would have a plan of sessions for across the week. So session one, for example, was very much around plyometrics and agility work, whereas session two was around upper body. Session three was more around cardio. So throughout the week, Felix would be working on different things. Each of these sessions were held in the strength and conditioning tent. This was where all of the pros would train. As you can see in here, there is a lot more equipment for tennis specific movements and drills. And every day I was in there, there was music pumping, giving off a really high intensity vibe. All of the SNC sessions started off with a lot of mobility work. For the first session, which was around plyometrics and agility, there were lots of hip opening exercises. And during the upper body training session, there was obviously a lot more upper body mobility work. All of these exercises that Fabian set up were very tennis specific. So you can instantly recognize how these moves are gonna impact Felix's game on the tennis court. 
Just while you're watching some of these SNC exercises, I just want to say a big thank you for watching this video. But only 21% of people that have been watching my videos in this last week have actually subscribed to the channel. So if you haven't done so yet, I'd love it if you consider doing so. Massive thanks. So after Felix's cooldown, we would head to lunch in the canteen. This was where all of the academy players would get together during their lunch times. This was a buffet and had a range of food which could help you to have a well-balanced lunch. There was a couple of hours for lunch, so that would be a good opportunity to have a shower, relax for a little bit, maybe do some work before getting back on court in the afternoon. The afternoon on court sessions tended to be more match play based, so whether that be a practice match or condition points, but this was a good opportunity for players to put into practice what they worked on in the morning session. As you saw in one of my videos and in Felix's video as well, he played against Alexi Popperin for a practice match. And on the other days, he would play with other elite players. Generally how this would work with me being on court, I would be at Felix's end of the court and the other player would have their coach at their end of the court. During the practice set, Felix and I would have discussions at the change of ends about tactical intentions and things to work on. And in between points, there might have been one or two words of encouragement or tactical suggestions. This was a really good opportunity for me to get to know Felix a little bit better during a match environment, as he could tell me how he felt during these points and what he was thinking. After the final on-court session of the day, this would be where Felix would go back to the country club gym to do a cool down. Again, this would be on the bike or on the running machine to do a nice light jog. On more intense days to take this cool down a step further, Felix would go into the ice bath and have hot and cold treatment. He would jump between the ice bath and the hot bath to aid his recovery for the next day. After this and getting showered, it would be time for dinner in the canteen. Again, very similar to lunchtime with similar sort of options. This is where most players would chill out in the evening, get some downtime, maybe do some work. But generally, because Felix and I were only there for one week, we would go for a walk after dinner just to explore and see what was going on around the academy. On one day, there was actually a paddle competition with the Dunlop team, which we had great fun in. On another day, there was a group of kids playing basketball and they were desperate for Felix to join in, so he did. And on another day, Felix and I had a nice gentle hit on the show court. Now, I know lots of you watching this video will be interested to see what it's like to go to the academy for a week, whether you're an adult or going to junior camps. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this and I'll see if I can answer them. So I hope you enjoyed that sneak peek of the Moritogli Tennis Academy. As a coach, I had the most incredible week here and I know for a fact that Felix did as a player too. So if you're ever fortunate enough to have the opportunity to come, I'd highly recommend it. Let me know if you have any more questions in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.